Hey guys, we're back with another Houdini tutorial, and we're going to lock this one. This was kind of like a fluid demonstration. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is go over here and tab in a DOP, a DOP network. And there's our DOP network. Let's go inside our DOP network. And let's add, let's tab in a ripple object. Ripple, start type on ripple object. And there it'll be. And then, as you can see, we have this cool little object then I'm going to tab in a ripple solver okay now I'm going to pop these into one another view my ripple solver and let's go back to the beginning and play it and let it solve there it's cooking this is pretty neat stuff pretty powerful stuff as you can see there we have a ripple but we can go further than that so let's stop this. Let's go back up to object level. And let's make a grid. So let's control click on the grid up here. We'll, we'll raise it up a little bit. Like that. Now let's double click into the grid. And there's our grid. I'm going to make our rows and columns 32. Make it a little smoother. Now I'm going to hit my tab and bring in a sculpt node. You'll like this. There's our sculpt node, and I'm going to pop that into the grid. And now when you come over here, if you hold Command and Shift and left and right drag, you can see the circle here is getting bigger and smaller. This is our sculpt. So now I'm going to go in here and sculpt something. You can see here it's making an indention. And I'll do one right here. Okay, so now we have our little sculpt node. Let's go back up to object level, go into our DLP network. Let's look at our ripple object's parameters. And if you can see here, we need to change our initial SOP path and our reset SOP path. Now, the initial SOP path is the sculpt. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong one. And the reset SOP path is the grid. Okay. So now let's rewind this. And now when we play it, you can see here that it's rippling out from where we painted those sculptor marks. And turn this way and you can see it where we painted and sculpted we have those little ripples now okay remember the initial SOP path is your sculpt node and the reset SOP path is your grid node so now let's take it a step further let's go back to our object level and go into our grid object let's let's delete our sculpt node now I'm going to bring in a transform node because we're going to use it we're going to use a couple of them, so I'll copy and paste it. And now we're going to bring in a metaball. I'm going to tab and start typing metaball. Now I'm going to pop my grid into this transform and my metaball into this transform. And I'm going to tab in a bulge. Start typing bulge, and there it is. So now we're going to pop our nodes in like that and view our bulge. Now let's go to our transform of our metaball and bring it down and I'm going to keyframe this so I'm going to start here on frame one I'm going to hold the alt key and click translate and it'll turn green so now let's go forward about 50 frames and bring it up here let's go forward a few more frames and bring it over here forward a few more frames and bring it up here there now let's go to our bulge and up our magnitude a little and as you can see when we do that we get that little bulge there. Go back to our object view, go back into our DOP network. Now let's change our initial and reset SOP path. We'll set this one to the grid. The initial path will be our grid. And our reset SOP path will be our bulge node. Now let me rewind here. Hit play. Now you can see it's not moving. Why ain't it moving? Well, that's because we need to check our used deforming reset. We'll check that. We move it back to the beginning and play. Now you can see our animation is moving along right there. We go. See it comes in through there. And the ripples follow our animation, our metaball. 
pretty cool stuff pretty powerful stuff um, and this is just a simple example that I think you all will get a kick out of and maybe even be able to use so I hope you've learned something try to put this to good use and um, let's, let's see what else can we do we can um, I guess we could control the amplitude and make it a little 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 more wavy but what we'll do is I'll just leave it at that right there and uh, we'll cut the video off and then maybe our next video we'll get into something a little more complicated but um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time